The Anzacs fought for our freedom and their legacy of selflessness and courage continues today. So we're being asked to give just a little back. Where's Victor Charlie? My vehicle is somewhere in the middle of all that. Did that hit Victor? I want to hear that voice. So about as harrowing an incident as you can expect to see as a, as a military person. Lieutenant Colonel Garth Callender has dedicated his life to service and sacrifice. Active Service Medal, um, Afghanistan Campaign Medal, um, Iraq Campaign Medal, Long Service Medal for that's 15 years. His story is one of courage and healing and he's sharing it for Anzac Day as part of Cole's annual Bravery Trust appeal, supporting veterans. As we've heard, being in the military, it's not just what happens over there, it's kind of what happens when you get back. In 2004, a then junior cavalry officer, Garth was deployed to Iraq, leading convoys of armoured vehicles through the streets of Baghdad. You left your home knowing that you may not come back. Yes, that was always a possibility. We saw a lot of violence. Insurgents targeting Garth's convoy in this roadside bomb attack. That was a f big one, man. I was knocked out cold, as were, as were the other the crew members in the vehicle. Of dust, I, can't Charlie this I knew I'd been injured, I wasn't sure how, um, and I, I couldn't breathe and I couldn't see. Having sustained life-threatening injuries, Garth became Australia's first serious casualty in the war and was medically evacuated from Iraq. But that wouldn't stop him from returning to the Middle East in uniform twice more. While everyone survived the blast, many came home bearing lasting scars. Some of them are really paying a price for seeing those, you know, humanity at its worst that day. These days, Garth continues to serve, taking up a post with national military charity Bravery Trust, providing financial aid for veterans and their families. To make sure that they don't slip through the cracks. Veteran Peter Arbuckle served eight years in the Australian Defence Force. Between uh, Laos and Thailand, uh, out on your own, uh, surrounded by Khmer Rouge, mines, uh, being shot at. After being medically discharged from the Australian Defence Force in 1997, a motorcycle accident led to the amputation of Peter's left leg. I lost my job. Um, I was low on funds. Covering Peter's expenses, Bravery Trust supported him through his rehabilitation. Oh, I'm not sure where I would have been had it not been for the Bravery Trust getting me through. Discovering wheelchair rugby league during his recovery, Peter has now gone on to represent Australia at two Invictus Games and the Rugby League World Cup in England. Bravery Trust at that time gave me the opportunity to go overseas. While the kitchen is a far cry from the battlefield, for Peter and Garth, this is a mission that matters to them. By buying these packets of biscuits from Coles um, is our way of helping these individuals that haven't fared well from their service. The Bravery Trust relies on donations. Garth and Peter meeting with supermarket staff to put a face and story to the charity's work. We're able to help Pete get back on his feet and you know, he's gone on to do great stuff. Really puts it in the front of your mind and how it's impacted people in real life. For Anzac Day, Coles is donating 40 cents from the sale of every 12-pack bakery Anzac biscuits to Bravery Trust. It helps put um, food on the table, it keeps a roof over people's heads, it puts petrol in their car so they can get to medical appointments. And you did make some Anzac biscuits yourself today, I, so I can we confirm that they're good? <laughs> I think the ones I made are okay, but uh, I know generally they are great. <laughs> Who doesn't love an Anzac bicky, right? And good on you lads.